Kia ora te whanau, nō mai hoki mai. Now, what if I was to die? You're asking yourself, well, if what happens if he dies, then what happens with the app? So in 10 years' time, I want to extract my seed phrase from my image. How am I going to do that without the app? So in an extra, extreme example, if you hadn't saved my app anywhere on 10 different, like, 10 different computers and you haven't got it stored somewhere, the technology that I've used is open source. Okay, so I've just made it, I've put everything together in the vault to make it really easy uh, for the user to do whatever they want, but you can actually do all this without my app. Okay, so I'm going to show you this part of it. I mean, obviously, I've coded a lot of stuff to make it easier, and you, you know, you won't get anything else like this on the internet, but I want to show you that if the extreme case happened where I did actually disappear and you know, the you didn't have backups of, of the vault and you know you didn't know where to get it. This is what you can do. Okay, so this is a little bit of a work. This is a little bit of a, it, it's a little bit techy, but not too much. I'll explain it in a real simple, basic way. Okay, so it'll be easy for you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to embed uh, the seed phrase into this image, just so we've, we can use this image as an example. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to embed the seed phrase in this image and then we're going to extract the seed phrase out of that image using the source code. Okay, so I'm going to drag this image here. Uh, it's one of my dog and my cat and I'm going to put the seed. If we look at this, just, just so you know, the seed phrase is 24 words. Okay, so we're going to put that in here. I'm going to then just give it a really basic passphrase because of purposes of this video, but you know, Obviously, this is where the whole strength of the vault is, is in your passphrase because it protects everything. Watch the other videos. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to give it a one, two, three, four, five, okay, and then embed seed phrase. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so it's 10 years later. You don't know where I am. I could, could have disappeared. You can't remember where the blimmin' the vault files are. So this is now source, source, source Forge. It's been around for a long time. It's like GitHub. It's going to be something that'll be on the internet forever. As long as the internet's here, it'll be here. Okay, if we come down and actually have a look at when this was actually registered, uh, it was actually in the year 2000. So this is 23 years. So I'm using technology that is not new, all right? But it's always, <laughs> it's not publicly known a lot because, it, look, it's been used for nefarious operations because hackers... They hide malware inside an image and you download the image and then malware goes on your computer. So they've been using it for nefarious operations. I'm reverse engineering it and using it for security. Okay. So this is why it's so good because hackers use it. So that's why it's so good. All right. So if we look at this registered, it was, you know, created in C++ uh, programming. If we come and have a look at here, just this week downloads nearly 2,000 for a software that's 23 years old or, or a, you know, a code base. So, see, the last update was in 2013, right? So it, this has been around for a long time. But anyway, this is where you can... Now, look, I'm going to show you something as well when we download this. You don't actually have to install this. That's the beauty of this. You don't even have to install this on your computer. I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so but what you will need to do is you'll need to download the file. Okay, so I'm going to click on Download. This swords, this actual URL, I'll leave a link to this in the description. So you can test this yourself because you can embed and extract. This is the software, this is the, the um, code that I'm using for it. It's this exact one, okay? So I'm going to save it to the desktop, okay? Let's wait until it's finished downloading. Okay, let's come back here. Okay, I'll just uh, refresh. That's actually download right there. I'll just refresh it. It should be good now. There it is there. Okay. So now if you're just unsure, if you want to just make sure, it's in a zip file. Okay, so you can just extract this straight to wherever you downloaded it to. You can use WinZip or, you know, everyone knows what an extractor is. It comes default on Windows as well. Okay, I just use WinRAR because I think it's the best. All right. So if you wanted to check it, I'll leave a link to this in the, uh, in the description as well. You can just up load the file to this and just scan it. Look, you can choose file. I'll choose it. Here it is here, Steg Hive. Okay. Look, these are all the ones that it's using. 
all these different Avast. A, look, it's even got ESET, which is what I use down here. It's got F Secure. So look, it's undetected, it's fine, okay? So, but it doesn't matter because you don't have to install it. All right, that's the beauty of this. You don't have to install it, and I'm gonna show you. So let me um, uh, get rid of this. Okay, so this is how, so we know that our image has got the seed phrase embedded. Now, now we want to extract it. And like I said, I've, I've died, I'm not around. So you've got the link for this, for the source, for, the source forge, and you've downloaded Steghide and you've got the zip file on your computer. So all you need to do is right click. Okay, and then this will be the same with any zip program. And I'm just gonna do extract to Steghide. Okay, so it's gonna give me a folder just refresh this it's going to give me this folder okay so I'm going to come into this folder and it's going to give me steg hide now I'm going to come in here let me just pull this down and that's it so this is the exe so if you were going to install this on your computer you know that that is where you'd actually install it but you don't need to install it I'm going to show you how cool this is so all you need to do so we're on Windows all you need to do is first of all the image that you've got the seed phrase embedded in, you just drag that and put it into the same folder. Okay, so now we've got it. Mine's called willow-holly, all right? And then all we need to do is bring up the command window to extract it, okay? So if we up in our uh, little address up here for the actual path to the folder, all we need to do is click in here, all right? And then just type in cmd for command, cmd, like that. Okay, and then just push enter on your keyboard. All right, and that's gonna bring up the command window. And this command window, that you don't have to know code or anything, but this is actually showing the path is actually to the folder that we're in right now. Okay, and that's what we need to do because we need to target the actual image. All right, so my image, let me just pull this up a bit. Okay, so my image is called this, Willow, so yours might be something different, all right? Now, just with images, just just this is something that I didn't mention in other videos, is that you want to keep your image size to no more than 1.8 megabyte, okay? So make sure that it's not bigger than that, otherwise you'll get an error when you're trying to embed and all that sort of stuff. So 1.8 megabyte is maximum. So all we need to do in this command up here is we need to type, this is to extract it, okay? So we need to type steghide like that and then a space, and then extract, okay? And then space, and then dash, and then SF, okay? And then we need to put in the name of the actual image that we've got. So in my case, it's capital W, Willow, dash, uh, Holly, and then uh, dot JPEG, okay? So dot, jpg okay and that's that's it now when i push enter it's going to ask me for the passphrase okay so i'll click enter enter passphrase now remember i used one two three four five that was it okay so i'm going to put in one two three four five and don't worry that you can't see anything it's designed to not actually show you uh your pass passphrase on here okay so i'll put in one two three four five now all i have to do is click enter on the keyboard okay wrote extracted data to cdtxt text okay so now if i minimize this and in the same folder okay just refresh it right click um actually yeah where where can i refresh this uh the easiest way is just to go back <laughs> and then go back i can't remember the command for refresh but now i've come back right here here's the seed okay if i double click it that's the seed phrase, okay? So you can use the steg hide to actually extract your pass, uh, your, your seed phrase, okay? You don't need my app. It's the same with actually embedding it. You could use it as well, okay? So all I've done is basically taken all the, the difficulty out, out of this side of it, this part of the vault, and added it in the vault as like, you know, drag and drop. Makes it a lot easier for you. But this video was all about if, for some reason, you couldn't have access to the vault you can always use this to extract your seed phrase. Okay, so I'll leave all the links in the description. Actually, I'll show you how to embed your seed phrase into an image as well. So with the same folder open, uh, Steghide, all you need to do is drag your image 
in there and then your seed phrase in the same folder okay so you got them both in here and then we need to do the same thing with the command window so if we come up here and just type in cmd and then click enter let me just pull this across a bit so we can see what we're doing here okay now what we need to type in here is steg hide okay and then space and then embed okay and then space and then cf sorry uh, dash then cf then the name of our image okay so it's in my case it's willow dash holly okay like that and then i'll uh, oh, actually make sure you put the j jpeg dot jpeg okay and then space and then dash and then ef okay and then we want to so we're embedding now we're embedding the seed so we just need the name of our text file so i'm just got mine's just called seed yours could be named anything okay so it's going to click on uh just type in s e e d and then dot text for the actual text extension okay like that and then just hit enter and then it's going to ask us uh for a passphrase that we want to use to embed the seed phrase into the image so this is obviously when you'd be using one that i show you uh, how to create a, a really strong one one that's you know uh quantum resistant okay so but for this case i'm just going to use uh one two three four five one two three four five okay and then click on enter and then you've got to uh re-enter the passphrase one two three four five okay and that's done that's in there and so when you want to extract it you'd use the same so now i can delete this all right then if i wanted to extract it just come to here cmd okay type in steg hide okay and then extract and then dash sf in the name of the file the uh, image Holly. Okay, and then JPEG. And then enter. Enter passphrase. One, two, three, four, five. Enter. And now it'll come back. Okay, if we come here, I'll just refresh this just by going back and then coming back. And there's the seed. Okay, so there I just showed you how to embed and extract. It's that easy. So I hope that helps. I hope you have an amazing day. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Kia kaha.